good morning all right thanks for stopping by it's been a long time since i've done a video showing the interior of the maddie wagon and to be honest with you it's because i'm a little embarrassed about it <laughs> everything's getting worn out and looking rough kind of dirty but i've got some big plans that's about to go down i've got some new wall coverings coming in you will see a big difference on the interior of the Matty wagon but first i want to show you just how bad it is in here right now it's just a wreck everything's a wreck i haven't had time to clean in here everything's dirty and dusty see the walls how they're just starting to wrinkle and kind of turn a little bit dingy see all those old stickers there i picked those up in mexico and in tucson i thought they would look cool i'm kind of getting bored with those stickers up there i'm going to cover all this up i've got some new upholstery coming in and i'll show you how you install it okay so let me show you what i got done so far I've got this upholstery. It's a roll of it. You cut it to whatever you need. It has uh, self-adhesive on the back. You peel this wax paper off and it's high bond. It really sticks good. Today is 95 degrees. It'll be 95 for the next four days. So this will be a good test to see if this stuff is gonna come loose from the walls. But uh, let's go over to the Matty Wagon and I'll show you what I've got done so far. Making good progress. It's still a mess in here, so pardon that part. But look how much better that's looking. It looks kind of like burlap. It's got a little texture to it. It's light gray. And uh, you just cut what you need, stick it up there. So all I have behind here is that Reflectix. And on top of the Reflectix, I had white vinyl tape which is this stuff here i'm going to leave this i'm not going to put this upholstery over it i'm going to put some other kind of tile here because i'll need that to be able to wipe that off after cooking but this stuff i got a smudge on it when i was putting it up my hands got dirty and i didn't realize it and i had a big smudge and you can clean this just get fabric cleaner like oxyclean Spray it on a rag and wipe it off and it cleans the smudges right off. But what I did was I just put big wide panels all the way down, stuck it on there, spread it out, and then I put one inch seams over where they're butted up together. And that's looking pretty good. Just imagine when the bed's made <laughs> and the junk's out of the way. And uh, it's going to look much better in here. Got it going all the way up to the top where it meets the ceiling. And all the way over here behind this cabinet. I didn't do anything behind this cabinet. That's just Reflectix back there. You'll never see that. But as far as comparison goes, just scroll back to the beginning of the video. And then back to this point. And that's a whole lot better. Now, these two little things here, let me stop here and let me put the light up. There we go. When I'm cooking, I put this light up and it's just held up with Velcro. I need that when I'm cooking to be able to see inside of the pots and pans and stuff. There we go. It's looking much better. Here, let me give you a close shot so you can see the texture. See there, it's like a, a woven linen. Now over on this side, it's still just the white vinyl. I didn't have enough to do this side, so that'll be next. And this little spot up here too. But I'm making progress. So after I get everything finished, then I'll clean up in here, make the bed, and organize, and then we'll give you a final video of the finished product so i'll check in later thanks for watching take care be well and smash the bell